Coming at you live here. <laughs> All right, guys. Will the Vector 1200 amp lithium jump pack jump start this truck? This is our 2006 uh, Dodge Ram. Betty it is, White. AKA we call Betty her Betty White. White. Uh, it is a small V8. It's a 4.7 liter. So right now I'm going to jump in the truck and show you all that the battery's dead and uh, or the battery's low. It's not completely dead, but it's to the point now to where the voltage and amperage is so low that it won't uh, crank over the truck. So let's jump in. Let me show you that real quick. Let's see. Yep, she is dead. I'm gonna be late for work if I don't get it to run, right? That's right. <laughs> That's everybody's fear. So let's jump this thing off. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna hook up the uh, positive cable to the positive battery lead. It's got pretty strong clamps, which is good. Then we're gonna hook the negative lead up to the negative. And you'll get a green light showing that you're connected correctly. It also has uh, reverse polarity protection. Uh, so if you reverse these leads, you'll have a red light that will actually uh, tell you that it's hooked up incorrectly. But it won't damage the unit. So now we're going to start it. Impressive, it worked. Now when you disconnect it, we're gonna disconnect our uh, ground lead first, and then our positive lead. Worked really well. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Hey, I'm Arthur with uh, Georgia 4 Low. Stacy's, uh, Miss Stacy's behind the camera filming. Stick around and I'll show you some more cool features about this thing. Okay, was that not pretty cool? This thing actually worked. I was a little, mm -hmm. I had some reservations. I was a little reserved about it. I didn't think that the small unit would actually jump start uh, my truck. I purposely drained that battery down uh, to the point y'all heard it in the video where it's just clicking. I think that is a most common situation for people that would want to use this. So a couple things about this unit. First, you're going to have to fully charge it before you use it, which is what I did. It took about three to four hours right out of the box to get it fully charged. Uh, but this is a great little item to keep in your car. Uh, jump start your lawnmower motorcycle we jump started a v8 powered truck personal watercraft this may be good for something if you own a boat something like that to keep with you we are going to use this um, we're going to add it to the yukon we're outfitting the yukon with a couple things because we're using it for travel we've already uh, been to niagara falls we've been to knoxville we've been to the beach DC. so we've been to washington dc so we're adding some things to the yukon um, just in case you know, you got to have some supplies or some necessary items in the in your vehicle just to make sure you can get back home. Most of our moms out there that are watching, y'all already know this from preparing your days of the diaper bag travel. But this is adult <laughs> the travel. Diaper bag travel. <laughs> yep. So that's just a couple of things. Uh, also, if you're going to store this in your vehicle, you need to frequently charge it so often. I would say uh, every two to three months, you need to get it out and make sure it's fully charged. And it has a couple of capabilities that Stacy's going to go over on how you can charge it. So we'll jump into that and let her show you how you can charge it. A couple of different ways that you can do that. And then also what some of the typical items that you could expect to charge with this. Because this can be a great item to throw in your backpack if you're going hiking. It's a little bit of emergency backup power if you have a situation where the power's out. But you want to stay connected with uh, whether it's the weather, friends. You can charge your iPhone your Whatever iPad, radios. some kind of other electronic radios, um, GoPro cameras, things like that. So we're going to turn it over to Miss Stacy, and uh, y'all stick with us. All right, ladies, did you figure it out? Look, it can go anywhere. Diaper bag, backpack, laptop bag, your purse. I don't care if you have a large bag like me, a crossbody. I don't care if you have a backpack bag. This little sucker is a lifesaver. Let me tell you, as we're traveling and going here and meandering around like we do, whether we're in Georgia Four Low in the Jeep, out doing our Jeep stuff, we're in Big Blue, the Yukon, or even Old Betty White, 
Arthur likes to hog all of the charger ports inside the vehicle. So this sweet baby has come to my rescue. Let me show you why. Has this easy access little pull top, keeps dust out, keeps everything locked in place. It has two different portables for your iPhone, like your USB, your standard USB yep. port. This is, this is USB A and USB C, I believe is what they call those. Well, in my world, this is for your iPhone, Samsung, but technical terms is A and B. Let's see. For me, it's A and B, because you need to see your way out of this conversation. Anyways, let's get let's get to plugging some stuff in. Have my iPad. It is officially dead. We're gonna take and we're gonna charge this puppy in. Have my cell phone. She's about dead. You know, it's been a busy day, and look, y'all. I'm sorry. We. He got the longest cords he could find. Okay. Look at that. Instantly charging. Let's get, let me get some of these. Right, it's starting to charge. I've got this little Bluetooth speaker. We're going to get him plugged in. I'm telling y'all, you cannot go wrong. It does everything. I was very, very shocked that our 06 Dodge, Arthur ran the battery down, and with literally within two seconds of connecting this to this pack, putting these on the correct red and black on the battery, y'all don't make the mistake like I did, sparks will fly. Not with this, but with regular jumper cables. I'm telling you, it wasn't fun. I thought I blew something up. <laughs> but within two seconds of him putting these there, going into the cab of the truck, turning the key switch, it fired off. And we both were like, we're sold. This puppy is awesome. Arthur, what's your thoughts? No, it works really well. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And if you'll notice, uh, when Stacy plugged up the iPad, and her iPhone, you just have to press a little button here and that turns the unit on and you have three LED uh, power indicators, tells you how much power is in the unit. Obviously, uh, as the power drains, these will become two and then one. Also a nice little feature it has on it, it has a work light. Kind yeah, of bright. It blind me. <laughs> Don't so, look into the light. Um, you got a work light. So if So if you were on the side of the road and it's night time, you could use the light to one, help locate the battery that you're trying to connect to, or simply, if you were changing a tire, this could use as a extra piece of light to help change a tire. Just grab it and throw it on the ground and light it up for you. A um, Couple of things that or come with ladies, it. I, not to interrupt you, babe, but remember when I told you he is a port hog for charging things? If you're out on the weekends and you're out in the woods, this works as a great flashlight item. Yep. Because it do be getting dark out in the woods. <laughs> so you're gonna come with a couple of things in the kit. You're gonna get a USB cord, which is a charge cord. You're gonna get your uh, 110 uh, outlet adapter. Basically just plugs in here. And then of course you'll plug that into the USB adapter or the USB port on the unit itself, and it comes with a 12 volt socket. So you can charge this in your car, you can plug this up in your house and charge it, or you could charge it off of a, a USB port in your vehicle, uh, USB port off of a laptop or whatever, any other thing. Um, the beauty of the most thing that I've seen in a lot of new modern cars, it's like with our Yukon, is we have power outlets back here. We got a 110, uh, the Yukon has a power inverter built into it, so we can easily uh, charge this unit uh, inside the uh, Yukon, kind of top it off when needed. But you can see it right here. Thanks, Stacy's using the light to help <laughs> light that up. So that worked out pretty good. So we could charge the unit uh, if we needed to back here. And uh, that's probably where we're gonna store it at. There's actually a um, nice little storage box underneath here. 
Uh, one thing, one thing I'd like to see come with this would have been a a small carrying case or just a small bag, because you do have to keep up with a couple of different. You know, here's here's three parts that you got to keep up with, right? And then you have the jumper cable section that you got to keep up with, and then the unit itself. So, you know, for the money, this thing's uh, well worth it. I'll drop a link down below. I think uh, picked this up at Home Depot. I need to go back and look how much I paid for it, but um, I purchased two of these. We're going to put one in the Yukon and probably put one in the Jeep and maybe just have one. May use one instead of putting in a Jeep. May just be a floater that we'll put in whatever vehicle we happen to be driving. But. So hey, we've been talking for a few minutes, and y'all seen that iPad was completely dead. What percentage is it on now? That's already on three percent. Okay. So no, it's going to charge quick. I think this is a three. Each port. What was each port? I think each port is like a three amp. Yeah, each port is a three point one amp. So that's pretty quick charging. Oh, wow. So that'll charge uh, iPhone or iPad pretty quick. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions, drop them below. Myself or Stacy will try to answer them for you. But, again, this comes with a, uh, a nice set of instructions that's written really well. It has all the information you need on here on how to use the unit, how to charge it. I mean, it, it, it's intuitive, so it's not a big deal. But just, just note, if you store this unit uh, inside your vehicle, whether you're extreme temperatures up north or if you're in the south like we are, your vehicles can get hot or they can get really cold. can affect the performance of the uh, power pack itself. And that's why I mentioned earlier, make sure you um, take care of as far as using it. Keep it charged. It doesn't do you any good if you've left it in the car for eight months and never charged it. And now all of a sudden um, you need to use it in the battery system. It's weak or doesn't, it's not fully charged and not going to be able to jump start your car. So... Uh, make sure you use it. Uh, throw it like again. Use it on your adventures if you're going out hiking or going, uh, getting off the pavement a little bit. And uh, keep it charged up. And drop any comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks. Bye.